It has been almost two months since my last longer video. I know I haven't really kept you guys updated with what's going on. I feel like a bit of an apology is in order. I've just been busy with things in life because YouTube isn't a thing I get paid for or anything. I can't commit to it full time like I'd like to. Again, I do apologize. I feel like maybe I should say a little more than just I'm sorry. I know it seems lately that ukulele apologies are in style for YouTubers. I don't have a ukulele myself, but I have an acoustic guitar, so maybe next video if I've got to apologize, I'll play that for you guys. Also, I know that I've been teasing that the next episode of this series would be something related to an album. I still have that in the back of my head. I just was trying to figure out, do I want it to be a conventional review? Do I want to try to change things up a little bit? Still working through that, but this is a topic that I've had on my mind for a good bit of time. I've always said that I'd never be afraid in this series to talk about things that are a little more personal, a little more real to my life, as opposed to just talking about art and media. So I figured this would be the perfect time to do that. Also, I know I usually put a picture here, but don't be alarmed if there is no picture. I just kind of like don't really want to like do anything like that right now. It doesn't really make sense. So welcome back to I Want to Talk About, the series where I take a topic, any kind of topic, anything that really tickles my fancy, and I sit on camera and I blabber about it. And as you can tell from the title today, I want to talk about being in the background. This is a feeling that I've had for a while now, something that's existed in me for at least a couple years, that pertinent feeling that you tend to get where you're thinking about how you're just kind of in the background in life. A lot of people always talk about this idea of being the main character in your own story or being the main character in whatever story. And not to say that I don't feel like the main character in my own story, but sometimes I feel like in life, in several different contexts, I kind of just feel like I'm destined to be in the background. And I look at it in a lot of different examples, like my personal life, my professional life, my content creation life. I just think about that kind of general feeling of I'm in the background, and that's kind of where I'm always meant to be. And it's been a feeling that I've thought about a lot because I've had to constantly try to figure out how to cope with it, how to get through it. And I figured it's something I could talk about on camera because perhaps some of you watching may also feel that way. Maybe other people can relate to it, maybe just kind of hearing someone talk about it or kind of let these thoughts go out loud instead of letting them rummage in my head. Maybe that could help people know that they're not alone, that their feelings are things that other people go through as well. Kind of help give them that self-validation of like, hey, you're not the only one. Because like I said, this is a feeling I've had for a while. I think I started feeling it maybe as far back as like four years ago. And like I said, there are a couple different contexts that I feel it in. The first one that I guess I'll talk about is like my personal life. This is one of those things where a lot of times your brain just tells you things that maybe you don't want to hear or you don't believe. There's no real evidence behind it. You just kind of like force yourself to believe it even if you know it's not real. But like a lot of times in my personal life with like friend groups and things like that, I tend to sometimes feel like I'm the worst in the group or the most forgettable or like if things went on in the friend group without me there, they'd go the exact same way, like everything would just be the exact same. And that's one of those feelings that I have often had to work through of like, no, if you were with your friends, they would care, they love you, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's one of those things where when everything in your brain starts to come together and work against you, you kind of just start letting it kick you while you're down and it starts kind of affecting all sectors in one way or another. So in a lot of ways, I think that being in the background feeling really existed in my personal life among friend groups and things like that, where I'd constantly have to like realize to myself, no, your friends care, dude. Like, it's okay. They're here for you. They do care about you. Like, you are valuable and things like that. But again, a lot of times, you know, when you have anxiety or things like that, you start kind of getting into these ruminations of, no, they don't, I don't, I could be out of this group and blah 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 and it wouldn't matter, everything would continue onward. I think that feeling as far as personal life is probably one of the easiest ones to work through because it's kind of easy to just convince yourself, no, you're lying, you're getting into these harmful ruminations or that's not a thing that's genuinely happening, there's no evidence. 
But I think it's harder to kind of get out of that background feeling when it comes to things like professional life. And that's where I get into another part of the feeling of being in the background for myself is that I've kind of felt in the background as far as professional life for a bit now because I'm not going to get into too many details about things like this, but I've talked about it a lot. I'm a writer. I'm a video game journalist, I do freelance writing, things like that, and there are a lot of times within the job where I kind of feel like I'm stuck in a rut because I'm, again, in a boat where I'm not exactly, like, full-time, I'm just a freelancer and things like that, and being a full-time writer is something that I've wanted to do, I mean, it's something that has been a dream of mine, especially to be able to write about video games, which many of you have seen my videos, you know I'm passionate about those. But I haven't been able to have that opportunity, and I think a lot of times this one can be harder to convince yourself like that you're going to get out of that rut, just because a lot of times it's more results driven. Compared to something like your personal life with your friends, where, you know, you kind of just like have those bad thoughts but they could go away at any moment that's not really a results driven thing you can't really see like tangible evidence a lot of times you can but you don't really have tangible evidence that the people in your life don't care about you unless they outwardly tell you and things like that whereas in your professional life you kind of just look at the results that you get and you kind of take them for what they are and i guess it's not really professional but content creation is kind of really the same thing for me because putting it like this, and I know a lot of people may not know this part, but uh, recently, August 1st, was the 14th anniversary of when I started doing YouTube videos in any capacity. I've been on this platform for almost a decade and a half making content, and uh, clearly, I mean, you're here, you see the channel, you see the subscriber count, you see things like that. You see what whatever's the view count, it's probably not giant. Where is the view count at? I don't know. It's probably here or something. I, I don't know. YouTube's changing the layout all the time. But you're seeing the view count and things like that, and it's probably not huge. And I think that's another moment where I really felt in the background on things because that's kind of how my life as a YouTuber has been. I've been in the background observing YouTube and the way that YouTube's changed and things like that but I've kind of just been stuck where I'm at, like the amount of subscribers and views that I get is about where it's always been. And sometimes I think I get into these boats where even if like, oh, hey, I did a review and the artist noticed the review, I tend to think like, oh, it's probably not gonna get much bigger than where I'm at. And I've kind of had to come to terms with that feeling of like, you're always gonna be a small creator. You're always gonna be like a smaller person in whatever field you're in you're not necessarily going to get into a higher place than that. And I think that's something I've had to cope with a little bit because I feel like I'm someone who is a bit existential to a fault, and I'm not gonna get too deeply existential here, but I tend to have a bit of a fear of being forgotten. Like, I think the idea of how fragile life is can really scare the hell out of me sometimes. That idea of, like, everything can be gone in an instant. And I think I have this kind of fear of being forgotten sometimes, whether that's in personal life, professional life, content creation life, what have you. I tend to have this feeling where like, I don't want to be forgotten. And sometimes I think about, and again, this is why I say existential to a fault, because it's probably not the healthiest mindset to have. But I think about a century from now people who are going to be forgotten or remembered and things like that. And I think the thought of being left in the past and just kind of having it fade is kind of terrifying. And that's not necessarily the idea of me being forgotten or me being left in the past. It's the idea of life just in general being this thing where everything can fade. I think that's something that's a little scary. And I think it exacerbates some of those feelings of being left in the background. Especially when you're someone who has constantly had people tell you, like, you're gonna do big things, you're great, this is so awesome, I'm proud of you, things like that. You know, I felt that a lot, for example, when I graduated college a couple of years ago, I would have people say, like, you're gonna do big things, you're gonna do special things, it's gonna be awesome. And then you kind of feel like you're not doing that. I'm not gonna act like that was not my fault or that all of the problems are 
life's fault and not my own, but sometimes it can be a thing where you kind of get terrified to let people down in a way. And I think the other reason why that feeling of being in the background can hurt a little bit is because it ties back into another idea that I've had for a long time now that I think not enough people talk about. A lot of times in life you hear this idea that everyone brings up of hard work is what gets you results. If you work hard, you're gonna get results, you're gonna be successful, blah, 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 blah. And sure, I think that working hard is something that can help you maintain success, but I think I think a lot of people say that either because they don't want to acknowledge or refuse to acknowledge. I guess those are the same thing now that I think about it. The ideology that a lot of life and a lot of success in life is about luck. And that's not denying that people who become successful didn't work hard because sure as hell they did. But I think that the idea that people tend to present that life is solely about hard work and that hard work is what gets you places are either too afraid to acknowledge that it's not the truth or they just kind of want to let you down a little easily and just have you think that hard work is what gets you places because a lot of times luck is what gets you in. Hard work is what keeps you around. And I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but I think if you look at my resume, it speaks for itself. If you look at the things I've done as far as my poetry that I write, I've written like 300 plus poems in the span of like five years and I have them all on a blog in the description. If you look at the work I've done for my outlets that I've done game journalism for, if you look at the amount of content I've created on YouTube and TikTok and things like that, I think it speaks for itself that I do work hard. I consider myself someone who is hardworking, and I believe I have people that can vouch for me on that, that acknowledge I'm a hard worker. But I'm kind of still stuck in this rut of feeling like I'm in the background, and I guess it's one of those things where I just kind of have to acknowledge sometimes I'm not one of the lucky ones. Sometimes in life it feels like the people that succeed and things like that, no matter how hard they work, are lucky. They're the lucky ones. And I guess sometimes I just think to myself, maybe I'm not one of the lucky ones. And I think that's a struggle to cope with at times because you want to believe. You never want to stop believing in yourself because there's always that ideology of if you don't believe in yourself, who will? Which we could talk till the cows come home about if that's actually a legitimate point. But regardless, you don't want to not believe in yourself. You don't want to not convince yourself that you will find success and you are going to be in a good position and things like that. But at the same time, I think in life, you kind of feel that need to give yourself that kick in the ass and the honest truth of what's happening. And a lot of times I think that's kind of hard. I'm sure anyone will tell you that, but sometimes you don't really want to hear that kind of truth. I feel like this is something that a lot of people can go through and do go through where they feel like in life they're just kind of meant for the background. And this is a feeling that I've had for a couple of years now, like I said at the beginning of the video. I think over time I've had to kind of come to terms with it that, yeah, I'm just going to be a guy in the background. I'm the main character in my own story, but not really a main character in any other stories. And I know I'm probably going to get responses of, but that's okay. You should prioritize yourself. And yes, don't worry, I'm doing that. But I guess at times you tend to get the feeling of, there should be more in life than this, and you kind of wonder, how can I get that more? I do work hard, and I'm trying to work hard to get the more, but the more is not coming. How do you get the more out of life? So figuring that out has been a process, because life is a process, and a tough one at that. I guess this is what happens when you're like 25, and you're going through these motions in life, you feel a little bit directionless, and you don't really know the answers, and you're kind of desperately searching for the answers. So you sit on camera and talk about it and just blabber hoping the video isn't directionless so that someone else could possibly relate to what you're saying. I hope some of you do. And I think that's why I wanted to talk about this on camera, not just to kind of discuss my own feelings and kind of get them out of my head and out of my mouth for other people to hear, but because I was hoping that some of you watching this maybe can relate and maybe this can give you some kind of feeling of, hey, I'm not the only one going through this, at least someone else is, at least I know I'm not alone. Because I think sometimes in life you need that feeling, especially in a context like this where, you know, I'm talking about being in the background, you feel like you're not noticed, you feel like you're just kind of like an NPC 
or a movie extra. So sometimes I think maybe people just need someone to tell them, yeah, I go through the same feelings. You're not alone in that feeling. So I hope I've been able to do that in this video for you guys. I know that this kind of maybe went in a couple different directions. I hope I didn't repeat myself too much. I hope it felt cohesive. And I guess the ultimate message that I can send is life is hard and it sucks being that person that feels like you're in the background, but no, you're not going through it alone. And there are people who feel the exact same way and know exactly what you're going through. As I said, life's a process, and it's a pretty tough one. But for me, I'm willing to stick through it in hopes that some good news arrives, and I hope those of you watching are able to do the same. So yeah, that's kind of all that I wanted to say about the topic. Again, I hope this video wasn't totally directionless. I hope you guys kind of understood what I was saying. A lot of times in these videos, because my scripts are just like a few notes, I kind of like just pray that it comes across as something cohesive, especially when it's something like this where it's a much more personal message and feeling. So I hope this video made sense and I hope at least a few of you could relate to it. If you have your own stories to tell or your own ways that you cope with similar feelings, you can leave them down in the comments below. Of course, let's keep this civil as I always ask, especially because there's probably going to be people who comment that are maybe discussing things that they've been afraid to discuss publicly, so I think it's important that we validate each other's feelings, so let's try to do that. I feel weird asking this or saying this in a video like this, but if you want to like and subscribe, thanks. Again, it's no big deal. I won't beg you for it. I don't like begging people to subscribe or hit like anyway. If you enjoy the content and you want to stay for more, I appreciate it. If not, that's totally okay. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. And hopefully the next video will be that video I want to make on the album I want to talk about. Again, as much as I'm willing to do these kind of personal or more emotional videos, I don't want every video in this series to just be that. I don't want this entire series to be a therapy session, so hopefully the next video will be able to do something a little more fun. Well, maybe fun's not the right word. A little more lighthearted, maybe? Regardless, stay tuned for that, but until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.